Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to compare the Ruger American Compact 45 versus the Glock 36. Both polymer frames, striker fire handguns chambered in 45 ACP and both very respected manufacturers. Let's start with the Glock 36. I recently reviewed this. I enjoy the gun. It's a subcompact Glock, although it doesn't really feel like a subcompact. It has a 3.78 inch barrel, and this was created in the year 2000, so it's been around for 20 years. It has longevity on its side. This is also Glock's first single stack handgun in 45. Holds six rounds in the magazine. You get two mags in the case, and you're looking at right around 550 for the Glock. 36. They didn't always have an accessory rail. That's actually new a couple years ago. Prior to that, they just had a flat surface there. Then they decided to put an accessory rail on there so you can attach a light, laser, a combo, whatever you want on the dust cover. But it's a Gen 3 model, and all Glock 36 models are Gen 3. They don't make a Gen 4. So that also means that you get the finger grooves. Now, whether you like that or not, that's what you're getting. If you don't like it, you can have them shaved down and if i own this i would have it shaved down because right where that bump rises hits right in the middle of my finger but i do like the three finger contact i think that extension on the magazine is is a good touch because i get a nice firm feel on it it's just not as comfortable as i would prefer now i think i mentioned 3.78 inch barrel regular glock sights and a nice shooter you know when i took it to the range i felt comfortable right away took a few shots to get on target where i need to be but that's not unusual for any gun that you take to the range you know especially when you shoot multiple firearms you, know, you have to figure out where impact is being made but i measure the trigger weight right at five and a half pounds and many people may say well of course that's what glocks measure at well not all of them i know the website says that but they are not all five and a half pound triggers but this one is and there's what you're looking at it does have a trigger bar safety in there and that's the reset very audible and a, a bit blocky too which people like that with glocks you know they like that blocky handgun so if you, if you love glocks you're gonna love the glock 36 i know a lot of people love the glock 30 it has 10 rounds opposed to six they say it's a better gun but for this comparison, this is what I have to compare. Now here we have the Ruger American Compact in 45. This one is Cerakoted Gray. That's new for 2020, but the gun's been around for about four years. And it has great ergos, and that's because they offer grip modules. They offer two. Now this one came in the case, and I like the way that feels right out of the case it just feels really nice in the hand and it does have an extension with this magazine it comes with three seven round magazines this one has an extended base plate the other two are flat base plates although they do offer the extension so you can switch those out but this has a 3.75 inch barrel so approximately the same and a double stack seven round magazine with grip modules feels great now they have a or ruger offers a full pick rail on the dust cover and novak sights metal sights okay now the glock sights are polymer but where glock's going to shine is with aftermarket support all right they're going to they're going to always they're going to beat every company when it comes to aftermarket support and this g36 is no different but that's what we're looking at from a grip standpoint and over here we're looking at very close slide length and width okay no great difference either which way there is a difference on the scale and we're going to get them on the scale shortly but let's take a look at this trigger because this also has a trigger bar safety and i'm measuring this at five and a half pounds too so the trigger weights are the same and the reset is very similar as well I did shoot these side by side. I found them both to be fine handguns. So this is actually a very close comparison. They measure up well with size, not so much with weight. We're gonna check that out. But as far as out of the case and what this offers, you're looking at in the mid to upper 400. So approximately $70 less for the Ruger American Compact, whether it's the all black model or the gray model. Okay, and the gray, is new 
But let's go ahead and get it on the scale now because I think that's where the CCW guys are going to say, you know, this is where the Glock shines. The unloaded weight with the mag inserted. One pound, six and a half ounces. We move that to just ounces, 22 and a half ounces. Here are, let's see, there are six rounds of 45. 230 grain hollow points made by Magtech. Let's see if I can get that one to stay. There it is. 27 ounces even. All right. So if we look at the American Compact, we'll see that... It's weighing approximately six ounces heavier, 28 and 5 eighths ounces. Here are six rounds. And the loaded weight, 33 and an eighth. The seventh round, because it has the seven round magazine, almost 34 ounces. So for CCW purposes, if you don't mind sacrificing one round, the Glock 36 is going to take that one. If, if weight is your thing, if weight's not your thing, then this will win win that point because it has that additional round but the overall feel the overall shooting very similar if we look at the internals we'll see that the glock 36 what happened there there it is it has a dual recoil spring and there is your barrel very simple takedown like we know with glock the ruger american compact will lock the slide back here push this lever down and we'll see you don't need to pull the trigger there but here we have a dual recoil spring and 3.75 inch barrel both very simple takedown which one of these handguns would i choose if i could only choose one the glock 36 has a few advantages first is that it is lighter it is a glock it has longevity on its side and it has aftermarket support you can get anything that you can imagine for your Glock handguns with aftermarket companies, but it's about $70 more. The American Compact 45, I forgot to mention, is ambidextrous, okay, so it's left-handed friendly with the slide stop and the magazine release on both sides. I like the gray Cerakote, but that doesn't matter for this review. I like the ergonomics better, and I like that additional round. If I were to CCW, I would sacrifice that additional round and go with the Glock 36. But for home defense, for range fun, or all around, and an excellent handgun, I'm going with the Ruger American Compact and 45. I just like this gun a little bit more, and I think that that 70 bucks you can put toward ammo and you'll be well set up for home defense and range fun if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe